Hello everyone, in today's video, we will be breaking down this reel. So let's get started. So first we will create this white background, then this uh, highlight animation and then this match cut animation. So let's get started. So first I will just simply right click here, new item, color mate and I will set the reel resolution, then click OK and I will choose this. Uh, white background okay and i will rename it on bg and break into your timeline something like this now first i will just select this rectangle tool and i will make a shape like this i think this will be okay now i will go to effects control and simply place it to uh, for example i want to place it here and if you want you can change the color from here mm, so in the reference video the color is uh, red so i will go with red you can just go here and change into any color you want to now we need to add the text so i will select this i will type in it's almost like this and you can go to effects control and simply just scale it down and i will just place it here so the font i used in this is hell with the car around it you can just download it and if you want now we need to animate this highlight so i will go to effects control disable uniform scale select anchor point and i will select it from here by clicking here and i will just make it to something like this now i will just enable a scale width keyframe move this as our final position and at the start i will make it to something like this and you can just simply bring these keyframes closer and like this easy so it will be like this now to create the match cut we need to create all the months like this february january march april may so what i can do if i type it again and again it will take a lot of time so i will move into chat gpt i will type in here create me a srt file of 12 months in the year to add as captions i will type it downloadable file and you can simply download it timeline and like here and you can see uh, like this and you can just click ok so here are our all the months you can see now to create the match cut we can just simply select all these and simply i will just uh, right click here or i can just i will just type in upgrade caption to graphic and it will be like this so now what i need to do i will just select all these press control like this now you can see uh, for example so these are right here uh, so what we need to do we need to just adjust the speeds of these to make it to uh, a match cut so i will just go with one press ctrl r and i will make it to zero and at the second one i will make it to 10 so it will be like this and i can just simply go with this again and i can copy this and now i will go in this i will paste this again so it will be like here and i will do the same with all the layers like this okay and i will bring it here so they will be the at the same length you will select all these and select all these and again just type in here now i will go in sequence and at close gap and now we can just bring it here to approximately like this and now this so if we play this it will be giving us this animation right here so i will not uh, if we see in the video its color is black so i will just go in the properties and i will make the fill color to black like this and i will select these two and make the fill color to black and if we see the font it is a bold one so i will just select all these go to the font section and i can go for 
you will go with this one and now in the property section if i now once this is done i can just simply select all this and nest them into a nested sequence go to effects control and i will just scale them up to and one thing i will do i will just go in the sequence and from here for all the layers i will just simply delete the shadow of this like here so they will be appearing to something like this so if i see the video match cut is like this but if i want i can just simply make it uh, faster as well so it will be giving us this animation now once this is done we will just move next so this is the next I will go in Premiere Pro and this is animation is ending here so I will delete this uh, cut this text like this and from here I can just delete this also and I will make a copy of this graphic and in this one I will type in 2025 and now I can just simply select it and if we see in the video the color is also white and I will just simply scale it up and position it in the middle like here and if we see we have this highlight animation so i will go in effects control and i can just simply select this right here and i can just make the scale of this bigger like this scale height and now i can place it to something like this so it will be giving us this animation as well now once this is done we have this animation so how can we create that first i will set up this whole frame then we can move forward so first i will just move here and i will create a rectangle to something like this like here and if we see in the video its color is black so i will change it into black and uh, from here i will just make it to something like this this is okay i will round the corners from here 77 will be okay now i will go in the assets and i will bring in this one and go to effects control and simply just place it to something like this now we will just type in our username so i will add a text layer and i will type in mine like this and now i can scale it down and simply just place it here go to properties and i can just make the font size to smaller so that it fits and i will go to effects control here like this so this is done our username is also created but we want to create this one so i will just copy this 2025 text layer and i will just make it to approximately here and now i will just make sure to select it and make it to zero like this and now i can just go to facts control simply scale it down and i will bring this to something like this i will just scale it more down and make sure it's placed here now i will just uh, bring it approximately here now i will make a copy of it and i will move it to here now i will again make a copy of it and i will paste it here now i will just copy this links on my name layer and i will just make it to post like this and the first letter will be capital so i will hold shift and then press this like this and it will be like here and uh, what i can do i can just make another copy of it and i will move it here and it will be named followers so i will bring it this this first letter will be capital like this now what i need to do i will just scale them down a bit more to make space for other text and all these things and uh, i will just if we see in the recent 20, 20 25 so i will just go with 20, 20 25 to approximately here now i will just select this one too and i will make the scale to 25 and now i will bring it here now i will select this post and i will make it to 2020 or i will make it to 35 this is okay 
and I will bring it to like here and in the followers I will just make it to 35 to and I will simply paste it here now I will make another copy of this and uh, I will make rename it to following and first I will bring it to the other side and now I will just and make the first letter capital following this is okay and now I can just simply make it like this now once this is whole setup I will just make sure to adjust these so once this is done we need to create this follow and message icon so to create this I will just select this rectangle tool and I will make a shape to something like this and from here I can change its color to light blue like this is okay and from here I will just give it a bit of roundness as well approximately here I will bring this up to make more space so I will just copy this text and I will just type in follow first I will get here and make it to like this and I will type in follow make sure the first letter is capital and now from here we can just simply make the font size to bigger if we see f4 no this is okay now we need to create another and this graphic I will copy it and i will paste it to the other side as well and from here i will go to properties and then select the shape and i will make its color to something like this and uh, now i can just make another copy of this follow text go to effects control and simply paste it to the other side and it will be typed in message and i will just make the font smaller and fit it in so like this so this is our whole frame created i can just now select all these like this and i will nest it into a sequence and now if we see we can just move it like this now if we move to our video it will be coming from here so i will set up a scale keyframe this will be our final position and at the start it will be something like this so it will be like this now uh, first i will just make sure to select both and ease in them like this now if we move forward we have this text animation you can choose premiere composer you can go to the text presets and you can use any text i will just show you the animation now if we move forward there is very a beautiful animation uh, uh different animation uh 3d effect so how can we do that through this one i will just simply make sure once this is ending here for example this is ending here i will make a cut here go to effects and i will search in basic 3d go to effects control and from here i can just simply add these two keyframes and uh, first i will go here and i will just simply make it zero at the start and now if we move forward it will be like this but i can just need to change it to something like this and it will be like here and i can also adjust this as well distance to image and i will make it to zero at the start so it will be giving us this animation you can just bring these keyframes further to make the animation more smoother uh, slower so it will be like this and you can just type in the text and now if we move forward we have this transition so how can we create that first i will just go to project i will go in new item and i will click on adjustment layer and i will bring it to here and make sure it's like this this is our scene is where our scene is ending for example i will choose this and in the middle of adjustment layer i will cut this one and now i will go in effects and i will search for blur i will apply the gaussian blur to this layer and in the effects control i will add a keyframe and make it to something like 50 80 and i will make it to zero at this point and at the end point i will also make it to zero now we will set up this whole frame and uh, so th so this one first we had the image of Imanukhazi so I will bring it here like this 
and I will scale it down so it will be giving us this animation I can just simply bring these and I can also bring these keyframes so this will be our animation I can just simply bring this like here and you can just make sure to select and ease in the whole frame so it will be giving us this transition so once we are done we have this animation this is coming up so I will just select this I will add a scale keyframe move this as our final position and at the start I will make it to zero like this and uh, we will have this come up from the left side so I will bring in this image of um, Ali Abdal and I will just go to effects control and simply just scale it down to this and to make this visible I will add a position keyframe this will be our final position at the start I will just bring it here and it will move here I will extend the background as well so if we see in the video it's a bit smaller so I will make it to hit there and to move this frame upwards I will just select out these two and nest them now once this is ending here I will add a position keyframe and uh, after a few frames I can just simply bring this whole frame up so it will be giving us this animation and from down for example I will be using this images and an example so for example this is uh, where our animation ends this moves up so for example here I will bring these two and for uh, I will just scale them down and place it here and I will just scale them down as well and place here so they will form like this and we can just simply uh, select both and for example I will just nest it okay and now I will add a position keyframe this will be our final position at the start it, so it will be giving us this animation I will move in this and I can just simply bring these and now they will be like this so that's all for today I hope you found this video helpful make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one until then take care bye